So here we are, the following day. I've taken off that um, steering damper, which is this. It looks very car-like, doesn't it? I haven't got my specs on. I should read what that says. Remind me to do that. So, we go for a stroll down around the block sort of thing. See what happens. I mean, you know, just riding it from there to here. The, um, steering's about 97 times lighter already. Now what that will affect that will actually have, we don't know. But as they say in the classics, what could possibly go wrong? We'll go up the dirt road first, I think. <laughs> That's ridiculous. How much difference that makes. Well, you know, it's to be expected. It feels very light now, like to the point of too light. I suspect it's still going to wander around. We got the dirt here. I don't think it's going to make much difference. Oh, I mean, it makes a difference in the respect that it's much lighter, you know. Get up there, Plunko. Um, it feels still quite twitchy and weavy. So the next thing to look at, I imagine, is going to be the actual setup itself. Just see how much towing it's got or hasn't or whatever you know I mean it already feels a bit more pleasant to ride as in um, you're not having to fight the uh, fight the, the steering damper to, to go anywhere big ants nest. There'd be meat ants I suppose. No moo cows today. Oh, it's also got a, a lot better um, turning circle than it had. Know, still wandering about the place though not as bad actually it, it feels more twitchy than weavy <laughs> now the test of course comes if I take it on the road It's not shaking its head, which is that you would what you would assume why someone would put the uh, steering damper on it. But you know, I haven't got to any real speed yet. But usually, 
a leading link front end will um, will shake its head around these kind of speeds until it gets momentum on the on the rim, you know. Once again, it feels kind of nice to be riding a, an old K bike. They've got, they've got something about them, you know. Like most bikes, nearly every bike's got something good about it. Have to learn to how to ride it again properly, you know. Ooh, there's traffic. What's going on? Here comes the test. We'll take it very gently, I do believe. Still wandering all over the place. Um, so the front end does feel very light. Someone stopped for a drink, have they? Surprising how many people stop at the uh, the bus stop. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna have a go at it. Who did that? Oops. Got to do something about mirrors, eh? <laughs> I'm actually going to ride it somewhere. Water on the road. Apparently, some quite a few roads are uh, are blocked, are cut. 
around Trundle that way. The bloke who's helped me do some work around the house uh, isn't coming today because he's flooded in sort of thing, you know. thing about this bike I can't really see the speedo properly you know it, it's um It feels pretty terrible, but not as terrible as it was. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I wonder if that's my. No, I don't think so. Might be another lot of neighbours. Yeah, it feels pretty terrible, but not as bad as it was. As in, like, it's a little bit more. A little less extreme as far as its weaving and stuff goes when it hits irregularities and stuff. I mean, it's still there, definitely. It feels, uh, yeah. I'm not sure how you'd describe it now. It feels very loose now. You know, like just sort of flopping around and stuff. You know, you could probably you could probably get used to it. Uh, but you shouldn't have to, you know. I mean, sidecars, in a general sense, do tend to... do tend to wander about. Braking's... A lot better now. A little bit of slow down probably this time so we don't get a wet ass. It's just enough water to spray up onto your legs, you know. Ah, oh, you know, I, I wouldn't call it a win. We'll call it a half a win. We'll call it a drawer or something. It doesn't feel really scary yet. But mind you, having reached the enormous speed of uh, 80 kilometres an hour or so, you know. It's funny how they're all so different. Sidecars, you know. So the next thing to do 
is just to have a look at um, tow in set up you know other than that like the front end actually feels kind of it really feels a bit loose like I'd much tell you that what they I'd much rather be riding it like this than uh God, the gear, gear shift is so light can't feel a click when you go to neutral I'd much rather be riding, riding it like this than the way it was with that steering damper on it so that's something I guess you know um but it feels sloppy you know I suppose, I mean all chairs, all outfits move around a bit, you know, you just sort of go with the flow, don't you? Um, and just get used to the idiosyncrasies, but this is not as, I'm sure this can be improved upon. You know, it's not, uh, still not very confidence inspiring, that's for sure.